We had such a good time shopping at the bins. I didn't want to leave. I was on a time crunch because I had to meet my other reselling friend, Sherry. So Carol and I said goodbye. is my haul those items and what's in here including that it's not a lot but i am so happy with the items that i found i think this might have been the first thing that went in the cart you know what let me move some of this out of the way and then we'll be able to look at it better i moved things around a bit so this is one of those like pop it fidget things that the kids love. And I think sometimes adults love these too, but this thing is giant. Most of the ones are like as big as your hand or whatever. And this is just like huge. Uh, still not worth a lot. Now I, I have 19 items and my total spend was in that $17 range. So I'm in on these items less than a dollar for each one. So just keep that in mind as I'm going through all this. So this doesn't sell for a lot. I'm looking at, you know, eight to ten dollars, you know, on this. Uh, let's see here. Uh, I'll get to all these plushes later on. Now, back behind here. My husband never watched Stranger Things, so we are in the middle of watching Stranger Things, the all four seasons, and we just finished season three. And they showed this lamp right here in the little fort <laughs> that uh, the youngest brother, the younger brother had. And I was going crazy. I'm like, oh my gosh, Dave, look at that. Look at the little lamp. Did you have those when you were growing up? And he's like, no. He's older than I am. And I'm like, you put a battery in here and it's a camping light. It's for camping. And then it has a little switch and has a little bulb in there. So then I got this one. Actually, I think I didn't get, I, I think um, Carol found this one and then I found that one or we kind of found them. She found one, I found the other one, something like that. So this one's similar, but it's got a different base on it. And... Um, this one has its original old box, portable lamp, shows you over here, uh, like you can use it indoors and outdoors. So these go for around $20 a piece. And I haven't tested them, got to do all that, so I'm not sure about all that. So I'm pretty happy with uh, finding the lamps. So sometimes when you're at the bins, you kind of get caught up in it a little bit. I'm like, ha ah, ha ha, this is so cute. Merry Kissmoos. It was just so cute. It looks like they had it at the store for like $2 at one point. I really liked the trim on this. It made it look vintage. It doesn't have a date on it. It says Giftco there. Giftco made in China. When I picked it up, it started to slide in my hands, and that's when I realized there's a second tray behind it. This goose uh, also at one point was in the store for $2. That says 1987, made in Hong Kong. So definitely a vintage tray. I think this one is vintage too. I'm not sure like how much these would be worth, maybe 10 to $12 a piece, maybe could be in the $8 range, I'm not sure. But I was pretty happy because I picked it up. And of course, individually, like if I weighed these, then I would know exactly, because at the Goodwill bins, it was $1.79 a pound. And that's how they come up with the weight. You just roll your cart up on, and they weigh the whole cart, and you know, and then give you the price. And that's how I, I bought everything. So actually, you know, these are, even though they're metal, they don't weigh a lot. So pretty happy with that. Found a couple of baseball hats and baseball hats, man, I love, I, I need to restock them, but I love baseball hats as a bread and butter item that is um, easy to ship, easy to store. And they sell in between like my vintage items so we got the, um, this is a basketball one, and I'm not sure, but that, I have to look it up. Might be, this might be vintage. It's got the snap back 
here. And um, so that just looks like a vintage tag to me. So I'm hoping it has a little bit of value. But I sell baseball hats anywhere between $9 and $25 based on what's on them and who made it, whether it's vintage um, and the condition, of course. And then, so not sure how much this is just yet. And then um, this is Ohio State. And I'm not sure... That might be the Buckeye. You know, I don't know my team logos. This is a fitted one. It's a fitted cap, one fit. Doesn't have much else on it. And again, I always say average $15 a piece. So 15 for each of those. And then this is a pair of um, shorts, like running shorts. This is Reebok. Um, and new with tags, MSRP was $48. Of course, we would probably never sell for that. They had them in the store for $12.99, and of course, nobody bought them, even new with tags, right? Because it's Reebok. <laughs> and uh, so, got these at the bins in less than a dollar. Now, if I was to sell these, I'm not sure how much I would get for them, but I like these so much. These are going to be mine. I'm going to keep these. Now, another funny thing is this thrift store probably looks online and say, oh, these are selling for like $15, you know, on eBay or something like that. We'll put it at $12.99 as if that's a sale. But they got to remember that it's a thrift store and people aren't necessarily going to pay that, even new with tags at a thrift store. They might at a Play-Doh's closet or, or Style Encore or like Clothing Mentor or something like that. Um, but... That's not what people are expecting at thrift stores. It's just not the same shopping experience. More funny items. These are new old stock in the package. These are magnetic rollers, snap over, made by Goody, made in the USA. Definitely vintage, sold in at Kmart for $1.62. Um, and yeah, it's still sealed, even though that's partly like tore off at the top. Oh, I wasn't even showing you guys. Um, so these are kind of funny. There was somebody who sold two of these packs for $15 and another person sold just this for $15. And these come in all different colors. There was so many of these. I was surprised at how many are listed and sold in, in eBay. So I'm expecting to get the same price of $15 for them. So what is this item right here? Both Carol and I knew exactly what this was when we saw it. And you're like, why would you pick this up? Oh, it's all dirty. I didn't clean anything. It's all dirty. Um, I'll tell you at the end. You guys can guess what that is. So I've been watching other resellers go to church sales. They go to the bins, any, you know, grad sales. And they are always picking up these squishmallows and plushes of all sorts. And I just don't know that much about it. But sometimes you got to pay to learn. And I thought, why not learn at the bins? So I grabbed these items. Of course, I knew Angry Birds. Oh, there's something in there too, but we'll get to that in a second. So this is just Angry Bird, the red one. This is a basket. It's a little basket. And this sells for that $12 to $15 range. I did not look this up. I'm thinking he's in more of like the $5 to $7 range. I don't know. He's dirty. He needs cleaned up. It says hearts on the back there. He's Angry Bird. Um, real quick, I found one ornament, and then I found another one, and then I think she found one. Carol found one, so I have three in here. There was more of these, but they were crushed. And so I'm really into selling Christmas ornaments. These are not marked on the top, but they do have that vintage look to them. So for the three of them, I'm thinking in that, you know, 10, 10 to 12 range, maybe 15 at the tops, top range for uh, the ornaments. And then I picked him up because he was Halloween. I'm like, everybody likes Halloween 
items of all sorts. And this one has a tag that says tie on it. I didn't know that Ty was making plush. I thought they only made the Beanie Babies and then they went out of business. That's what I thought. I had no idea that they also make these plushes. Now, I don't think the Ty ones sell as well as or don't get the high prices that the other Squishmallows get. But I got a couple of those too. There's one right here and there's two more plushes in the basket. But let's talk about these items so while you're in the bins they sometimes make you stop shopping and go behind the line while they change out bins so i had grabbed like these three and i think one tree or something like that that i saw in the bottom of a bin there was other brass items in it but they weren't worth picking up and they made us go behind the line so as soon as we were able to go back to the bins i was hoping they would not take that bin away because i wanted to dig in it we went flying back to it, and Carol found another one, and then I found another one. And I thought, well, even though it's three and three, I was like, I could probably still sell it as a set of six where you do every other place setting, and they're all like brass. But I saw where plenty of people were selling up just three napkin rings. So I could do these as separate, separate ones. When I was looking these up, these do come up, and... It's funny, there was somebody from the UK who had them listed up, and they had them for like $37, and then somebody in the United States had a, had two of them up for like $12, so I'm like, okay, so maybe $18 <laughs> for these, and maybe $18 for those, I don't know, um, maybe I put them all together, and I put them in that you know, 28 to $32 range uh, for the brass napkin rings. So I am a novice when it comes to these Squishmallows. This one has a pocket in it. It has this tag over here that says H, H on it. So I'm not sure the maker on that, but I was able to like image search this and lots of them come up. And some of them, it's darker here and lighter there. Um, they all had the same spots on them. They all had the same look to them. And they're selling between the $40 and $45 range, I believe, for this one, the big one. There was also, like, there's smaller ones. So you have to make sure you get the right size when you're um, listing it so that you list it at the, the right price. So this basket right here was folded flat and it was laying up on top of a bin and I almost crawled up and over the bin to get to it because I knew what it was. My mom had a yarn shop. She used to sell these all the time. She used them for her own projects. It's a knitting basket. You can put things in the pockets here. You put your projects, whether you're knit, crochet, in here, you could add room for your pattern books, all of that. And then it folds up flat, except for I got two more. I got a monkey and the bee squishmallow. I got them just because they're cute and I am paying to learn. So I just grabbed whatever. I wasn't looking them up. I wasn't trying to comp them out in the bins. I did comp out a few things while I was there when they would make us stand behind the lines. But for the most part, I was like in the cart. <laughs> so this folds up flat. If I can get this flat. Well, flat enough. But you, you get it how this is. So if you see something like this, you know what? I got to give you a price on it. I did not look this up to see what these are selling for on eBay yet. Let me go do that and I'll be right back. So I did a quick search and these caddies, they, they range in price based on, I believe, like colors and designs and condition. Condition is key. This one is in excellent condition. I think somebody had it and then just donated it. <laughs> this is the wooden one. They also have the metal framed ones. This one has like, like this kind of like brass looking chain here which is really a nice detail on it this one there's no stains or tips oh it's also has its original tag on it 
Oh my goodness. That adds to the ambiance of it. <laughs> so anyways, some of them based on condition and patterns and things like that were selling anywhere at the low end, $15, $20. Then they went up to like $25. And then some of them were in the 40 anywhere between 40 and $48. Like, you know, so I think I'm safely in that range because this is in excellent condition. Just love the pattern on it, the colors, the wood frame, all of that. I'm down to my last two items. Big mush, mushy. Some people are calling these mushmallows instead of Squishmallows. Not sure why, but I saw that too. I don't know if maybe they didn't know how to describe it and they called it a marshmallow, <laughs> but I call them squishmallows. Uh, this one is a tie, and this is where I'm paying to learn. As big as he is, he doesn't go for a lot. He's in that like five to seven dollar range, and then the little B you would think would be less than that. Now, they're both missing the other tie tag that would hang off of them. If you have the tie tag on this one, he's worth like $20. But without the tag, he's only worth about $8 to $10. He's got a little tie tag there. So now I know, I'm so glad I paid to learn at the bins. And now I know that the tie ones don't sell as much as the other kind of Squishmallows. So that's key. And I always think that it's the theme and other things in, in terms of uh, picking up the plush. But if I sell this one, let's say I did sell this for seven and sold that for 10. Once I sell these, it pays for everything else. And that's pretty cool. I'm not going to let you guys hang in. I said I would talk about this. This is the top of the silo of the Fisher Price farm. And some of you guys are going, oh yeah. Now this thing's dirty. It needs a lot of cleaning up. I did see a few of these listed. This would be a parts only type of thing. Very lightweight, so I didn't I have pennies into it. Um I think I can probably get like, I don't know, eight to nine dollars for it. I don't know. I would I would be happy if I got five or six dollars for it. I really don't know. But we'll see. When it sells, it'll be on my sold videos. If you uh, want to see what my other things are selling for, I have a whole playlist on the solds. Of course, I have a playlist for the thrift with me's and haul videos and all that. Also, um, if you like my video, please give me a thumbs up. Drop a comment down below. What was your favorite or which items are your favorite? Are you into the plushes? Are you into the vintage? Do you like 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 baseball caps, that kind of thing? The camping gear, that's way new for me. That's what I kind of like being an everything seller, but that also falls under vintage. So that would be in the vintage crowd as well. This is just a fun item. And then I got the shorts for myself. So drop any comments down below. I love reading your comments. Please subscribe to my channel. It is free. So this was in Ohio that I went and got all this. I traveled on to Pittsburgh. So, and I'm hitting up thrift stores there. There'll be shop with me and haul videos from all of my Pittsburgh travels. I'm in my Airbnb filming this at the moment. So there's going to be so much fun. I'm going to put some things up on my second channel, you know, a video too. Not too much on that. That starts with Coffee Adventures is my second channel. I always have a link to that in the description of all my videos here on YouTube. And that has all of my travel adventures, recipes, gardening, all that kind of um, uh, type of videos on there. And you can go and check that out. What's your favorite item or items that I found at the Goodwill Canton Bins? I will catch you guys later.